Hi, my name is Charles Glass, and I am an Optimum Nutrition Athlete. The thing I like to focus on is injury-free. If you're injured, you can't do the movement. I like to do pull-downs behind the head simply because we get a lot more of the back muscles moving. And we never pull too low. We don't pull down to the shoulders, just below the ears. I always try to get a couple of warm-up sets first so that you get the muscles moving a little bit and then we'll just keep going into the heavier workout. Here we go. Stop it there, good. Bang those elbows slightly forward. Rotate around, duck the head and pull, perfect. As you go down, make sure it goes forward, elbows forward. As you notice, at the bottom, he contracts that muscle more, so make those last really jump out. That's how you perform a pull down from the rear. Don't, you don't go too low because you don't want to end up getting an injury. You don't want to have the joint open up so you have that problem. So you try to stay nice and tight. You contract and through, driving those elbows into your lat so your lat has to engage. Moving on to the next exercise, what we're going to do is seated cable row. All right, we have different grips that we can normally use, but we're gonna start out using a narrow grip. All right, what we're trying to do is get him to contract through the back, good. Now, if you notice, everything's awful tight for him in here. What we wanna do is look at his build and make adjustments. Okay, pull, good, that's it. Try not to lean too far back, but get a slight lean. When you touch, contract, there you go, good. For my athletes, his size, what I would normally do is use a little wider grip so I get a better contraction. Here we go. Full extension. Ready? Good. That's it. Chest up. Shoulders back. Ready? Shoulders back. Good. Better contraction. There you go. Come on. Good. Move it. If you notice, his elbow is coming back a little further and it's contracting mainly throughout the whole rumboard area. Also, he hitting a little bit of the rear delt. With this exercise, a lot of people become arm dominant. What I mean by that is they involve the bicep and the forearms much more than the back. And what we're trying to do is move more of that back muscle. That's one of the reasons we move the shoulders back first and then contract. So you're stretching forward and you, as you pull, you start to move the shoulders, then you contract through the back. All right, we're on to our final back exercise. We're gonna be doing the deadlift. So you definitely want to make sure you have the right technique when performing this movement. The belt is a personal preference. Kate and I both like the belt simply because they give it more security. If you don't need it, that's up to you. It's your choice. You notice how he's bending down from the knees, back straight, and he brings it up close to the body, extending back. As you squat, you do the same thing. You drop your butt to the floor and you pull up. Up. Drop that butt down. See how easy? That's it. As soon as that weight touches, you know you're in the proper position, you pull. Good. As you come up, shoulders back, extending. If you notice when he comes up, he's even. Everybody is in line, it's not out of line at all. So we just finished our three basic back techniques. So make sure you subscribe to the link below. Thanks for watching.